And welcome back. You're watching the 700 Club, and we've got Pat in the hot seat Hi. for Bring It On. We're going to start with Sharon's question. She says, on Judgment Day, will we also have to answer for confessed sins, or are they covered by the blood in Jesus and forgotten? Um, I think definitely they are, but I also think that the other sins you've committed, I don't think you're going to have a review of them. The Bible says, uh, he that believes... Uh, uh, hears my word and believes on him who sent me, has everlasting life, and will not come into judgment. I think when we come to the great white throne judgment, the stuff that we've done will be uh, covered by the blood of Jesus, period. I, I do believe that. And of course, it doesn't hurt to confess them along the way and get them out of your life. All right. Amen. Victoria says, in my church, I have noticed some gossip amongst the women, including my pastor's wife. Do I need to find another church? How should I handle this situation? Because I'm hurt by it. Um, you know, it's amazing that we make a big deal out of uh, immoral sex. We make a big deal out of adultery. And yet, slander and gossip is every bit as bad in the Bible. And yet, that seems to be a sin that we allow in the churches. Uh, what should you do if, if you're in a bunch of women and, and the whole place is filled with gossip and hatred and bitterness, you're better off in your own spirit to get out. I mean, unless you can feel called to be a missionary to those groups, uh, I'd go find someplace more compatible. All right. All right. Good answer. Helen says, I'm 18 years old and I need help. I've recently started talking to this guy and it's great, except I let things go too far in what we talked about. I talked sexually with him. I have problems with sexual things and want to stop talking to him, but I don't know how to tell him. I feel rude just blocking him and moving on. Uh, look, sex talk is a come on. And this guy knows that if he can get you talking sex, the next thing he's going to get you doing it. And so it's kind of like a, a, a pornography thing. You know, it's like those call in, you know, and you, you talk dirty to some lady on the phone, pay a, 10 bucks an hour or whatever it is. But you ought to get out of that relationship. I mean, this man isn't serious. He, he's trying to use you. You become a sex object. You don't want that. And I know in your own life, you've got these problems. And, you know, we're all sexual creatures. That's what we have to understand. God made us, and part of making us was that we would procreate. And so that's what sex is about. But he said, if you can find it in marriage, that's the way I want it. And then, you know, I'll give you a beautiful relationship, including a sexual relationship, but it should be in marriage. So in your case, you know, the Bible says it's better to marry than to burn with lust. And so in your case, the thought would be getting married <laughs> rather than, than, than having all this problem. And, and, and talking dirty with your boyfriend. All right. So she shouldn't feel guilty then about blocking his phone number. Of course not. Yeah, absolutely I agree. not. I mean, this man is. Yeah. His intentions aren't. I mean, he, he wants to. I yes. mean, she's an object, and he wants to make out yeah. with her. That's what he <laughs> wants to do. Run, child. All right. All Lana right. says, "Dear Pat, I love watching the 700 Club, and I like how you answer many questions about the gift of speaking in tongues. I always wanted to ask if you have this gift or not. How does one receive it?" Well. I can go into great lengths, but the answer is yes. I, I have been filled with the Holy Spirit. I have not only spoken in tongues, brought messages in tongues, brought interpretation in tongues, brought prophecy, mm -hmm. and moved into the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I, I really think it's precious. And uh, the, the Bible says, he that speaks in a tongue edifies himself. So you build up your spirit. But uh, do I have? Yes. When did it happen? When my son was desperately ill. I was praying for him to be healed. I lifted him into the presence of the Lord, and God healed him instantly. And I just began to worship God and thank him. Wow. So that's where it came from. That was Gordon, right? Tim. Oh, that was Tim. Mm -hmm. My oldest son, oh, Tim. Oh, wow. Yeah.